when we talk about vibration, we're going to be talking about it in terms of inches per second. That's the velocity of the vibration. And so we display all the data in inches per second, and that's the velocity that that airframe or that engine or that propeller is moving up and down. Something else we're going to talk about are the per ratios. So a one per vibration means that that vibration occurs once per prop rotation. A two per vibration is something that occurs twice per rotation. You can also have a three per if somebody has a three bladed propeller, which means there's something occurring three times per rotation. Now I kind of skipped over the half per. It's actually one of the most interesting vibrations because it gives us an idea of engine health that will specifically tell us how well that engine's running. So a half per vibration is something that occurs every other rotation. So for a four-stroke engine, each cylinder will fire every other rotation. And because it fires every other, it's called a half per. And the half per vibration is significant enough that it's given its own position on our spectral chart. So if you look over in the right-hand corner of this display, you'll see the velocity mode inches per second. There's an H for half per. Anything that shows up in that dashed vertical line under the H is a vibration at half per, which means it happens every other prop rotation. But we'll just look at a couple more of these spectral charts. So the upper graph, you see that the H, the half per, is almost non-existent. And the 1 is the prop imbalance. So if you look at the lower chart, you'll see that the prop imbalance is about 0.2 ips. That's the 1. It's fairly small. But you'll notice that the H, the half per, is at 1 ips. And that tells us there's something wrong with one of the cylinders. So I was actually doing a long cross country coming back from the west, uh, back into Oklahoma here, and picked up a little bit of a vibration. I hooked the analyzer up. I saw this half per and realized there's something wrong with one of the cylinders. So I did a compression check. Uh, all the compressions were good. I pulled all the plugs, cleaned them, put them back into service. Plugs were fine. Mag check was fine. So it actually took a little bit. I, I actually had a loose intake hose. It was actually had a little bit of a crack in it, so I had to replace all the intake boots. But I didn't have to wonder, do I really have a problem, or was I just thinking there's a problem? I can actually look at the vibe data and go, no, I know there's something wrong, because this half per, uh, vibration should not be here. 